Hi, here is Simon speaking of 3D-Almanac.com. Welcome to the second part of the Victoria 8 Pro Bundle review. Today we look in the second part of the Starter Bundle part of the Pro Bundle and we are looking at the second character and at the second wardrobe set of the Starter Bundle. We'll have a look at the Poe set out of the Starter Bundle together with the Poe set of the Pro Bundle in the last episode of our Victoria 8 Pro Bundle review. So, the first product we are going to look at today is Rebecca HD for Victoria 8 by Fred Winkler Art. And let's start. First have a look what's included in Rebecca. The figure itself. We have some shapings, a hat and body apply separately, nails, navel, nipple and lashes apply and matching remove poses for this too. On the material side we have a couple of eye presets. We have here, other than with Victoria, we have separate lipstick presets. We have a couple of eye makeups. We have also nails and an all map skin set. So then let's start and load her. So there she is. Let's also add the chance and put a pose on her and reapply the complete skin map and hope that the chants are included there. Yes, they are. So we are going to add the was hair again, the hair that is included in the starter bundle. We add the hair. So we applied the black material. So we apply a couple of shapes, the nails, the navel that was already applied, I believe the nipples that weren't applied and the lashes. So that's her from the front. Let's have a look at her back. Also a very nice form. So next let's have a look at the material options. First the eyes. This is one that was already included. The preview icons are a little bit difficult to see. They're very similar. This is a darker one, almost black. This is a greenish one, yes. They sh could be a little bit lighter to ease, more easily see what you're getting. This is a greenish blue one. This is a more bluish green one, a little bit different in how the colors are mixed. This is a full green one, I believe, maybe with a little bit brown in it. It's really difficult to see what you get. Yeah dark green, maybe a little bit violet and here a very bright green one. So I think we get one of these bluish green ones. Yeah, let's keep this one. Next, the lipstick presets. Here the first one is a one that we already have here, the, the natural lips, a dark red one, you know, medium red one, very classical color, a little bit brighter red. A medium pink, a darker pretty natural pink, that's an interesting color, a more orangish, orangish brownish color, a lighter pink and a real dark red. What's also very interesting is here is a preset to remove the glossiness. Let's try this out, I think it's going to be interesting with this one. I think it looks a little bit strange on this one, especially with this thick lips, but I think if we add this to the natural lips, if you remove the glossiness from the natural lips, it looks better, but I think it's too much. A little bit more glossiness would be looking more natural. It, it almost looks a little bit unnatural like this. So let's go back to the natural lip color. So next let's have a look at the eye makeup. Again, there is an remove version or to get back to the main one that's almost no makeup 
we have here two options. I think this one is, I don't really can see what the difference is. Let's see. It's hard to see for me really what the difference is between the two options. So this is a somewhat rosé. Down here we have some more extravagant mega versions. So as with all Fred Winkler products, if you're looking for some makeup, there are a lot of options there. So let's go back to the no makeup option. So last but not least, let's have a look at the nail option. So we have again here the no nail polish option. And then we have a couple of interesting colors. This brownish tone, this bright red one, a pink, so I think there's a big difference between the thumbnails and the actual render. Don't know why this is. That's a little bit something I don't like. I like to have a good idea what I get when I see the thumbnails. A violet one, a light green one, a light blue option, and a black option for the goth in you. So much for Rebecca herself. Let's have a look at the second clothing pack in the starter bundle. The second outfit in the starter bundle is the Andromeda Skyfi outfit, and yeah, some somewhere between an and sci-fi like everyday suit and a space suit. So let's have a look what is included. We have an outfit full set and we have here different parts of the armor, arms, footwear, head, legs, torso. Then we have a boots pose and we have one texture set included. There is a separate texture extension but unfortunately I can't show it to you because I didn't buy it. So then let's load the outfit on Rebecca. So there she is loaded. I believe we have to hide the hair if we have the helmet on. So let's do that. That is looking much better. So good first view of the helmet. So what we didn't do before, we didn't put the measurement stick on. So you can see she is a little bit smaller than Victoria 8. I would say somewhere around 170. So let's have a look what shapes are included or morphs are included in the wardrobe. So if you look here, there are no morphs included. That's a little bit sad. So you really have to rely on autofit to, to get it right. Let's see if there's maybe something in the parameters. No, there's also no action tab here. So you have to really rely completely on auto fit features that might be work, but I think that's a little bit. So at least in a just all uh, morph should be included in a professional clothing. So that's a little bit, even if like the look, this is not so nice. So then let's remove her helmet or at least um, hide it and add the hair again to see how it looks without the helmet. That is also looking pretty nice. So much for the first impression of Rebecca, the second character in the starter bundle. And also with this so much for the second part of the Victoria 8 Pro Bundle review. Let's have a wrap up. I really like Rebecca. At least for my taste, she's a much nicer character than Victoria 8 herself. Uh, I think she has a nicer skin with more detail, less mousse. I like her general shaping a bit more. She looks a little bit younger, so they're probably usable for different cases. So it's not really uh, one against the other, but overall I think she's uh, the nicer character. What I didn't like with her are some details. Uh, the main thing I didn't like is that the thumbnails, especially for the material presets, were very different from what you really got when you loaded the presets. So this is something that maybe can be fixed by an update 
later on. Regarding the Andromeda sci-fi suit, I like some design of it, I like the style of it, but having no morphs at all is not the level of quality that I look in a professional product, especially not in one that, that comes with a high prestige pro bundle. So nice in basic design, but with big minuses in the execution. Generally, if I look back over the whole starter bundle part, we haven't looked at the poses yet. Um, the starter bundle is okay, but the parts are not really extra special. So nice basic setup, so probably right for a starter bundle, but there were more exciting bundles in the past. So thank you for watching. Please follow our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page. Please leave comments. That would be very helpful for us. We like to hear what you think about our videos. Please join us on all the other social media platforms and especially visit our content catalog on www.3d-almanac.com. Thank you for watching and goodbye.